I want it done already. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. We're here with your fantasy football update uh, after week eight. We have two of our uh, team owners here. We have the Chicken Coopers coach, uh, Chris Schilling, and we have the always inventively named Jackie's team um, and their owner, um, Beth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Name's Jackie. Um, we got a lot of things to talk about this week um, as we are quickly approaching, and we have passed oh, the midpoint of the season, I know, I know. and uh, everybody who's looking to make those um, very enticing four playoff spots, that is coming up. But first, I want to talk to Jackie. Jackie, your team started the season okay. ranked um, top yeah. in the league, top, top mm-hmm. in the league, mm-hmm. and you just pulled out your second win right. this week. What, what happened? I lost. Yeah. Uh, what happened to the I team? I don't know. I kept up on it every week, and I put the players in, and they didn't score the points. Yeah. Well, did you pick your players based on what the NFL thought? That's what I did. I picked them based on the projection of the what they thought that they would get um, each week, and they didn't meet the expectations yeah what can yeah. i do have you tried like motivating them like talking to them and no getting them to oh. because i don't know them <laughs> <laughs> well see that proves once and for all you need the uh hands-on approach um because right. if yeah. you don't know your own players on your team then your team's going to suffer right and it also proves definitively that the projections mean nothing um, nothing at all, especially so, at the beginning of the yeah, year. Yeah, I was so enthused at the beginning, and it's just it's well, been disheartening. What do you think so far of the season? I've Have you been, been having fun? Well, no, oh. because I keep losing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did, I did win this week, so I was, I'm back on the. Yeah. It, it, I'm starting to get enthused again. Okay, but, okay. But for a while there, it was just every week, just losing it was disheartening yeah 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 well yeah. I, I i can certainly mm-hmm. commiserate with you there you should be talking to dave yeah the two of you yeah yeah, down there yeah. in fact it was dave who you beat wasn't it i believe dave Schilling, no, the dnm no, divers no, 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 not this no, week no. oh no, no no it was um uh, somebody else <laughs> yeah. forgot him well how about you chris the uh chicken coopers well, have had a really kind of chaotic season it's up it's uh-huh. down it's it, who knows it's what's so going to happen fun. Next. it's so fun but i'm doing it all uh, based on scientific uh research here yeah. we're starting out doing absolutely nothing i'm just letting the nfl doing nothing and then a little bit here a little bit there i'm trying to interject I, i'm starting to do a little research looking these guys up writing them letters going out yeah. talking to the chickens about them but yeah. Yeah. as you know one of my chickens did expire right on halloween so i'm right that was a huge kind of setback for oh, the season it was this last game was yeah not good no, yeah no was, did yeah. you win sunday no oh i do no. no no it was not it wasn't good <laughs> Did you win? Yeah, I did. I won on Sunday. <laughs> so what? What? I didn't win. What? Didn't what win. can you do to oh. overcome the loss well, of one of your that chickens? That is a really good question. I mean, as right? the chicken coopers. Yes. Right. The coop, the coop doesn't is, seem to be very safe. They're, they're all disgruntled right now, and mm-hmm. they're wandering around. They're they're just like my team. They're just kind of not pulling together. Yeah. And do you have any plans on bringing the focus back? Uh, no. No, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take a look at our scores from last week here. We had um, a great slot of games. Uh, winners play here. Beat the Chicken Coopers, yeah, okay. 96 to 55. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Will's Way um, came up. Uh, man, I can't even see it. It's so far away. Uh, came up good against Hawkeye, 81 against 62. DNM Divers uh, got a little bit crushed. Uh, losing 52 to 109 uh, with Siete Ocho. That was the top score of the league this week. Hastriders uh, lost to Christ is my GM, 89 to 107. 
Red Zone Blazers lost to Jackie's team 64 to 93. 93, that's a good turnaround. That's really good. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a great turnaround. And the Kingsmen lost in a surprising turnaround of events uh, 73 to 108 by Cyclone. Now, Sue, with the Cyclone, they turned it around. Last week they got 120. This week, 108. And I think I'm up against them this week. Yeah, the let's Cyclone. go ahead and yeah, here. Let's look so. at the uh, However, upcoming I matchups. To win. You are projected yes, to win. Wow. Yes, well, that'll be big because the Cyclone's been making a push. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we need to keep them in their place. Uh, like we know they belong at the bottom. At the bottom. So the upcoming matchups this week. Winner's play here is taking on Hawkeye. Siete Ocho's taking on Will's Way. Christ is my GM. It's going to get an easy win against the DNM Divers. Oh, well, Jackie's yeah, team. <laughs> Jackie's <laughs> team. On this. <laughs> Jackie's team's taking on Hostriders. Uh, Cyclones going up against Red Zone Blazers. And the Chicken Coopers are taking on the Kingsmen. Oh, um, Whoops. Not the Cyclone. No, okay, that must be a future yeah. one. Yeah. But um, but there's a great stable of matchups that week. Um, something that I wanted to mention real quickly is you'll notice that we are on week 9 here, and the playoffs start week 15. So if you want one of those coveted four playoff spots, you need to be one of the top two in your division uh, by the time we get to week 15. I don't think I have a chance. Uh, everybody still has a chance. It's not that far apart. Um, let's move us aside here to the other side. Um, Christ is my GM is leading Division One right now with a six and two record. And Jackie, you're there at two and six, so you need to do some winning. It's possible. Yeah. It'll be tough yeah, though. Um, you can't afford to lose, and you need him to lose a couple of games. That's uh, Michael Burley, I believe, mm-hmm. over there. And it's pretty much the same on the other side in Division Two. Winners play here is up there at six and two, um, and the DNM Divers down there at two and six. But you know, you notice everyone else in that division, everybody is pretty close. Um, so make sure if you are at the bottom, you start making some wheeling and dealing changes because right. things are going right now. Talk to your chickens mm-hmm. um, okay. or whatever. You know, talk to your cyclones. Yeah. Talk to whoever you need to talk to. Uh, last but not least, Jackie, do you have any projections going forward this year? Well, Where I, do you think Jackie's team's going to end I up? I think I'm going to win out. You're going to win out? Mm-hmm. Good, yeah. good. Uh, so watch out for Jackie's team. They're mm-hmm. coming for everybody. Yeah. Um, Chicken right. Coopers, where do you think you're going to be? Oh, we're going to be at the bottom. I, uh, think uh, I, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I hate to say that, but it's looking, it's looking great. You're not going to recover yeah. from the expiration so. no, of no, your chicken? So. No, what was no, your no, chicken's no. name? Oh, the chicken was Auburn. Auburn. Oh, yeah. Auburn. Oh. What a great name. Fluffies. Sounds well, an old man. <laughs> that's why he she was, died. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much uh, for joining me, Chris and Jackie. Um, and well, if you want to yeah. be interviewed for Fantasy Football Weekly, cool. come on in. Um, people want to know. Mm-hmm. People want to know you. People want to know your strategies. And people want to make sure that you are for real. So signing off, Jackie, do you want to say goodbye to the good people? Goodbye. Goodbye, good people. (laughs) Goodbye, good people. And have a great day. Oh, I can't even see it.